The Polaris MRZR4 is a larger four-seater version of the previous MRZR2. This ultralight all-terrain vehicle proved to be highly successful. It is used by the U.S. Special Operations Command, USACOM, U.S. Marine Corps, as well as by special forces from a number of other countries, including Turkmenistan. Furthermore, there is a trend that conventional forces also acquire small, mobile, and versatile all-terrain vehicles like these. These ultralight vehicles were designed for expeditionary forces and provide foot soldiers' ability to move much faster. The MRZRs are totally different vehicles comparing with HMMWVs. These all-terrain vehicles are deployed in the forward areas. The MRZRs lack armor, but rely of their speed and high off-road mobility in order to avoid contact with enemy. They can operate on off-road routes that are not accessible to enemy vehicles. The MRZRs can be seen as fast off-road mules. The baseline MRZR4 accommodates driver and three passengers. There are anti-roll bars that protect the crew in case the vehicle rolls over. These protective bars can be folded down in order to reduce overall height of the vehicle. A light canvas cover is optional. As its predecessor, the MRZR4 is an extremely versatile vehicle. It can be quickly customized for different missions, such as supply and personnel transport, or casualty evacuation. A small cargo area at the rear, that can be used to carry crew equipment, as well as as various supplies, such as ammunition, water and fuel. In case of emergency, extra passengers can be carried in the cargo area. The cargo area can be quickly configured to carry two litters. Two rearward-facing seats are proposed as an option. The MRZR4 has a payload capacity of 680 kilograms, opposed to 454 kilograms of the previous MRZR2. It can also tow a special off-road trailer, which gives the vehicle an additional 454 kilograms payload capacity. This all-terrain vehicle can be fitted with various weapons, such as 5.56 and 7. 62 mm machine guns, or 40 mm automatic grenade launcher. Essentially, the MRZR-4 can be used for fast attack roll. This tactical vehicle is powered by a three-cylinder 875 cubic centimeters Polaris ProStar 900 petrol engine, developing 88 horsepower. It is manufactured by Navistar International. There is also a version, the MRZR-D4, powered by a Kohler turbocharged diesel engine. Engine is mated to an automatic continuous variable transmission system. Vehicle has a selectable all-wheel drive. Though normally, it uses a two-wheel drive system. A recovery winch is fitted as standard. It can be used for self-recovery and recovery of other vehicles. The Polaris MRZR-4 can be airlifted internally by CH-47 Chinook or CH-53 helicopters, V-22 Osprey tilt rotor transport or C-130 Hercules tactical transport aircraft. The anti-roll bars of the vehicle are folded down prior to airlifting. This operation is briefly performed without any tools. It reduces the height of the vehicle from 1.87 m to 1.52 m. These all-terrain vehicles can be also airdropped. Polaris MRZR D4 is a four-seater version. It is powered by a one-liter Kohler turbocharged diesel engine. This vehicle is designed to take diesel and JP8 jet fuel. This vehicle also has a larger fuel tank. As a result it has up to 80% greater range than the petrol-powered MRZR4. Also it has updated seats and roll cage. Otherwise its key features, such as payload capacity, handling, mobility and other remain the same as on the baseline MRZR4. In 2016 the US Marine Corps ordered 144 of these vehicles, while Canadian Army ordered 36 vehicles plus 12 tactical trailers with an option for more vehicles.